All right, I'm Kathy. I'm a massage therapist in Texas, and I'm just going to share with you a little of my experience. I've been a massage therapist for five years now. I got into it because I was a yoga therapist and yoga teacher, and I incorporated massage as I understood it into the therapy I would do with people who were having a lot of joint problems and, and structure problems. And so as I did that, my daughter went to massage school and I thought, that is so cool. I want to do that. So I became a massage therapist too. And uh, I'm sure all of you know how difficult deep tissue work is. I've been going to a Chinese doctor for a long time who would use cupping on me whenever I had problems. If I had a broken ankle, she used cupping on me. If I had pneumonia, she used cupping on me. And so I was absolutely thrilled when I went to the special presentation, I didn't know what it was about. It just sounded intriguing. And they really were doing cupping for the DMT. And I thought, I want that. I want that, must have that. So, uh, so I went ahead and got the machine. I've been so excited. I've had it about six months now with amazing results in so many areas. One of the first ladies I worked on, I was working in a spa and it was a nail tech had just started with us and she broke her pinky toe and it was black and swollen and painful. She was limping everywhere. So we used the, the cups. I brought her back. I think I started with the wand and I had the big area just working just very slowly, bringing the swollen area, the blood and lymph all up. Uh, up the leg and we used the various cups. I think since it was new I used just about every little thing that would fit on her ankle. We did both the um, the inhale exhale and we also turned the exhale off and just would glide and do effleurage with it. The next day she had no bruising left. It was completely gone and she didn't limp anymore. She was so excited. She she told everybody that she worked on about it. It was very gratifying to see such immediate results from using this particular tool. My next lady I worked on, uh, she wanted to detox and she wanted to body sculpt. She had other issues, also a massage therapist. She'd lost range of motion. She couldn't lift her arm at all. And she had fibromyalgia badly. Uh, we did a 20 session on her and fibromyalgia to this day the shoulder and the fibromyalgia are perfect she got full range of motion back in her shoulder and no more fibromyalgia pro uh, problems i will add that she was very inspired by how well she felt after the treatments and so she's kept up with it changing her diet and things around to treat herself better and that's a big part of it is educating our clients to treat themselves better so they don't get into that fix you know if we can help them that way we sure try to um, a number of people i've worked on with so many lots of sinus problems where we're working the sinuses all along here and down and moving it down to the the lymph glands very powerful we have one lady i just worked on last week actually and she was telling me oh this left side is terrible i just i'm having such problems with it so i really focused on the left side she had come from massage but we got she hadn't heard of the dmt so i got that out and said i'm just going to use this on your sinuses see if we can help you break that up so we did she was so excited she said all this swelling I thought it was a cheekbone I've suffered from this for years and I thought this was a cheekbone it's gone it's all gone it all broke up and flushed out of my body but now I noticed it's on the right side too can you do the right side and she hadn't noticed that the right side had a problem too because it was less and so we did that and just balanced her out the other day and worked both sides she's so excited I will mention uh, kind of the technique that I have come up with for working the face is um, I usually start with the very small, the smallest, either the pin, I might use the wide head on the pin, I often do, or the small glass bell. And I just, 
I start in the close-in areas very specifically and I let it inhale and exhale and on the exhale I move it so I'm not stretching the skin and making wrinkles they won't like me for that so <laughs> so I always move it on the exhale or maybe I always keep it at the lowest setting actually the first lady she had very puffy under her eyes and she wanted that gone and so we did that and we were working it and she said I don't care if it makes a mark I want you to crank it up and really get that out of there so I did and I can tell you swelling completely gone she had no more puffiness under that she had two black eyes like you wouldn't believe but she was thrilled I don't recommend that though but it happened <laughs> we won't do that again probably but I use the little ones and just move on the exhale so I'm not affecting them sometimes I'll hold it there for an eight count I've ne other than her I've never given anyone a black eye yet and we'll work our way out and I always work the temple area and work our way down I always feel compelled to go back here I think it affects the ears the station soups a lot and we work our way down all the way down and bring it over you kind of have to find the path that their body opens up for you to so that you don't break contact that you keep it moving over the bone structure there so after I do the small and I'll do it with the wand you know but I just move with the exhalation so you're not pulling after I've done that then I'll take a larger one and depending on their cheek size I might take one of these and just so that now I'm going and moving away from specifics and drawing it down and then we come over and again we're moving on the exhale usually holding it for eight breaths and then moving and then bringing it all down and I might work I love to work right here in the middle of the forehead and bring it across usually incorporating right in here using the one that really fits over their eyebrow and allows you to move that along bring it on down and I always try to draw it on down and just each exhalation moving on down bringing it down so it can drain out of their face and get to where it needs to be and I found that so effective for sinuses I hope it helps you too